Hello! Hi everybody! Hope you're having a great morning so far. I have been racing around like I was literally running from the bathroom to get here this morning on time. So I'm getting everything set up. Um, I'm going to post the tweet chat link and then I'm going to, and in the same thing, I'm going to post the link to what's going on. So stand by. I've got a little uh, Brett Eldridge playing for you while I've. <laughs> <laughs> while I figure my stuff out here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. She wants to know what you're doing, baby. Don't you? Don't you? Okay. Pause that. Okay. <laughs> it's like this stuff just cannot be done until the thing is up live. I, I, I have I kind of dislike that I don't have any link to send people to until we're up and running. But you guys understand. We're all just getting our coffee right and just getting the sleep out of our eyes or whatever. Um, okay, here is that'll be the. Please work for me this morning, Hoot Sweet. Thank you. Okay. This link until 10.30 a.m. CST. Also, here's the tweet chat link if you want to use that. I know what you're doing, baby, don't you? Ooh, perfect amount of characters, too, for a tweet on all that. All right, send that out. Okay, missed turn out. Uh, okay. <laughs> and now I gotta get my windows minimized. If you do the tweet chat, you can um, have your two windows kind of side by side here if you want. You just gotta rearrange it a bit. So I make this a little smaller. And there's that, and there's um, and if you're if you're commenting on the YouTube page, I will be looking at those comments as well. So hi everybody! <laughs> hello, hello! Yay! Oh, you're watching with your guinea pig? The guinea pig says hi. Wow! Good morning, Georgia, Melbourne, or Melbourne? Is that how you say it? <laughs> St. Louis! Yay! Awesome. Well, hi, everybody. Thank you for joining in. Um, all right. Get it all going here. I hope everybody saw that on Facebook. It just came out on there. All right. The tweet chat's going. Hashtag BB Live. Excellent. And if you um, are on the tweet chat, by the way, you can put at Emily Noel 83 at the start of your tweet, and then it'll go right to me. I mean, it'll, everybody in the tweet chat room can see what you're saying, but if you don't start your tweet with an at somebody, um, it, it'll just show up to, to all your followers. If, if you care about that, just let me know. I'm wearing a muscle tee today. I got this from Forever 21. Looks like it's some old retro thing, but, yep. Um, I didn't get a notification and got scared. Yeah, I uh, meant to send out something about right. I got um, up early, tweet chat but I got way. lost doing my makeup. Like I, I really just. You ever do that? You start doing it, and I, I, I started doing my makeup with plenty of time, but I still took a ton of time to do it, just messing around, and oh, I want to get a little more of this color, a little more of that color, I need like two shades of lip gloss, or <laughs> and then you look at the clock and it's like, what? I still have to do my hair. So, uh, my husband wanted me to tell you hello before he left for work. Oh, hi. Hi, husband. Thank you. Thank you. I used, I'll tell you what I used when we talk about face of the day, but my eyelashes also started coming off at exactly 8.59. <laughs> so I think they're on there. I'm sure you'll let me know if they start to come off. 
Houston, what's up, Houston? I forgot it was Thursday. You know, some people will tweet me and on the wrong day, or like they'll tweet me Wednesday morning and ask me where Beauty Broadcast Live is, and I'm like, honey, it's only Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday, Mariah is 19 years old. That is awesome. Happy birthday to you. Yay. So this is a big celebration day then. Awesome. I love it when it's people's birthdays and anniversaries on here. That's great. Mariah, I'll have to just sing to you periodically throughout this thing. By the way, one of my current favorite songs like I'm obsessed with with this song. I'm singing it all the time even when I'm not playing it. I think Tyler is probably like over it by now, but it is it's called It Goes Like This. It's a country song and it's by Thomas Rhett and I think it's such a good song. And I just love the chorus though. I'm trying to get to it. Write your name on your heart, just wrapping my arms with you all around you, and it goes like this. Oh, love it, love it. It's like one of the top country songs on like if you look up country on iTunes. So. Yep, yeah, Cupcake is probably napping right now. I'll grab her at some point throughout the broadcast. <laughs> I'm watching at work in Georgia. All right, that's good. I like work watchers. Oh, thank you, Natalie. Natalie's here with her daughter. We've got Ontario in the house. Yeah, I really, I, I totally enjoy getting up in the morning and not having to think, okay, what for the news do I have to put on that the viewers aren't going to complain about that's going to be very normal, and then I get up today for this, and I'm like, eh, I'm going to wear this shirt that says New York and has like a giant Saturn on it, you know? <laughs> I love that. It's These little things still aren't getting old for me, like staying up and watching TV, um, at night, it's still exciting for me. So, yep. All right. Um, I think I'm getting some freezing action. If you are new to this today and you're on the, you're watching this from the, the YouTube think, okay, page and you're commenting on the YouTube page, um, a lot of times it's kind of slow. So just want you to know that, and that's why um, I've put out the tweet chat link on Facebook, and I've put it up on Twitter, and you can go in there, and it just is more of an instant automatic update when somebody says something. So just want you to know that. I'm watching in Texas. I remember when you said you sang on your bus. Oh, my! was that my embarrassing childhood story where I was, I had headphones on and I was singing and then everybody called me out and started laughing at me? <laughs> Does everybody have some coffee today? This is my sister's watercolor painting put on a cup. That's me in this room. Isn't that nuts? I love it. Hello, West Virginia. Oh, Aaron, that means you get to be our honorary mountain mama, the first person to say they're from West Virginia today. West Virginia, mountain mama. <laughs> oh, Missy Love is joining us from Boston City Hall. <laughs> What's up, Boston? <laughs> Anytime somebody says they're joining from like a, if they're in a library or if they're, you know, at work, I really get an urge to get extra obnoxious so anybody in your background can be <laughs> like, what's that girl watching? <laughs> All right, and the tweet chat is working. We've got, oh, Jana Bell is here from, um, if, if you're familiar with the Benjabel brush trees. Yes, an actual product creator is, is in our midst here. That's awesome. Love those brush trees. I actually just cleaned last night. I cleaned my little travel set that I've been using for um, all of those tutorials. Oh, 
let me tell you, it's been tutorial city here with all those uh, starter kit looks. And um, so, hi, Linda Webb. Got a cup of tea with her. So I have been using those brushes like crazy. The and I got to say those. Um, what am I? What's the word I'm looking for? The Mr. Bunny travel kit that I've been using. It's a synthetic set. Uh, all the brushes have those white really soft tips to them and you can really tell uh, the nice thing about those an added little benefit to anybody who has those or wins those um, you can really tell when they're getting clean it's just like cleaning your you know your F80 or anything like that it, they get totally white at the tip they clean up very nicely um, so yes I've enjoyed doing those tutorials. Um, it, I tried to make each one, you know, a little bit different from the other, obviously, but we're still using a lot of the same products. Um, but I definitely showed three different ways to use that palette. I know some people will always say they all look the same, but um, ah! <laughs> those comments I hate because they're not the same. And I mean, I, yeah, I'm putting them on the same face. And they're all, listen, they're all going to be subtle, natural looks. You know, I this was about beginner makeup. This was about natural, everyday kind of stuff. So nothing's going to be like major editorial, like, you know, swaths of you know, eyeshadow out here. And then we're going to just use all black or, you know, it's going to be wearable. That was the name of the game with those looks. And each one was a little different. Um, so uh, I realize I'm preaching to the choir when I, I, I get on here and I rant sometimes. <laughs> and you guys are the ones who, like, totally get it. So... Yeah, I'm sorry. I just had to get that out there. But so many, I, I've been really pleased, though, honestly, with the feedback on those tutorials. Um, lots of people have said that they were very easy to follow and you enjoyed how quick they were and how basic. So that's exactly what I was going for. Quick, basic, and something somebody could watch who didn't have a lot of familiarity with makeup and get a full face each time you know, start to finish. So I'm really glad that I did it, and I hope it's helpful to those of you who have that, those products, similar products, whatever. Hi, Malaysia. What's up? Oh, Michelle. Michelle says, my goal today is to see you use that Avon paintbrush mascara. Actually, the next video coming from me is a review on all my Avon. Not the Mark stuff, but just my Avon. And included in that is the funny mascara. And if you guys saw my post on the Gloss Daily page, I did do a little kind of initial. I showed the difference, um, one side with that mascara on, one side without it. But, yeah. Emmy Lou Martin's watching from her phone in bed. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Abby's got her tardy slip. Yeah. So, uh, the hair today, yeah, I don't know what, what it's doing. It's just kind of hanging here. <laughs> I guess that's what it always does, right? It's 10, 12 p.m. in Perth, Australia. Yeah, that's not really coffee time for you. Maybe you want to, I don't know, have some green tea or something. <laughs> Yay! Awesome. Yeah, I've got today's show on over here on mute. I, I like to have that on so I just am aware, you know, whenever Kathy Lee and Hoda come on. I love Kathy Lee and Hoda. The concert was amazing. Okay, last Friday I went to the Rascal Flats concert. Um, it was, first off, uh, Cassidy Pope started things off. She was the winner of The Voice the season before last, and she was tremendous. She was so good. She was on Team Blake. I don't know if anybody's familiar with her, but um, amazingly just clear as a bell voice. We had seats that were so much better than we thought. Like, we went in. It was in an, um, the Verizon Amphitheater. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that in St. Louis, but... It's kind of like a bowl, and people in the very top part are sitting on, you know, grass. Like, some of them had little 
chairs that they brought or blankets but we enter the place up there because we're like we're probably in the back somewhere um, we've never been to a concert here before and then we go down and we're like no we're definitely not in this section we keep going down and like as you enter a new section there's someone there to like look at your ticket and tell you where to go and we were like in the bottom part of it not in the the pit right in front of the stage but in the seating area behind it and I think we're like 17 rows back which was amazing I could see what was happening on the stage I could see on two giant monitors on each side what was happening but when Cassidy Pope sang um, uh, Over You, I, it wasn't coming to me for a second, but she sang that on The Voice, and she sang it just as beautifully um, on stage. Then the band Perry put on a heck of a show. They were awesome. They so rocked. Um, I love that um, main girl there in their group. She's just awesome, and she looks exactly like Cass Makeup. Yes, go to youtube.com slash CAS makeup. Subscribe to her channel because I think she's awesome. I love her voice. I love what she talks about and stuff, but she totally looks like the main girl from the band Perry. I couldn't get over that. So, uh, and then Rascal Flats came on and they were. Um, you know how sometimes you get disappointed because people aren't as good live as they are like on the radio? they were absolutely even better like their vocal abilities showed off even more you know in that live setting and I was just so thrilled and they were so fun to watch I mean you know every one of those songs they've got so many hits so it was a great great time so thank you good morning Palestine Ginger forgot it was Thursday <laughs> that's okay you're here it's only 17 after so that's good so, where are you reading from? CM Punk. I don't know. I'm not reading anything. I'm just talking off the top of my head. <laughs> but that was that was a phenomenal concert. And then um, Cassidy Pope came out and sang a couple Rascal Flatts songs. And I still I want to do a vlog on this because Tyler took some good video with his phone, and I need to get it like off of his off of his phone and onto iMovie. So, yeah. Uh, oh, Bob Litch is here, but I am I am not Bob, I am Kathy. Kathy of Kathy and Bob is here. <laughs> oh, watching and eating breakfast. Awesome. I love how global it is on here. Everybody from everywhere. I have not used any Michael Todd skincare, no. Um, not tried that, so sorry, I can't comment on that. Um, did anybody check out on my blog the new shadow sticks from Jordana? There's tons of new stuff from Jordana. I went out and I like bought a new couple new mascaras, uh, one of their gloss balms. I bought a shadow stick, and then I the other day on my doorstep is everything, like just sent. So, um, which was nice because I, I am able to show you the whole line now, but I showed you on my blog yesterday the swatches of these sticks. Um, these are, Jordana and Milani are basically like the same company, um, run by the same company, and so these are the same as Milani Shadow Eyes, but they're being sold for a couple dollars less. So if you are debating what to get, it's the same formula, it's a lot of the same colors, and I just wanted to let reiterate that. Um, to keep an eye out for those uh, from Jordana. The one that I bought myself was the pink one, and this one actually has glitter in it. Like, it, it's very sparkly. But what I was amazed at was that the glitter didn't flake off of my eye once I put it on. I wore that alone a couple days ago. It looked really nice, so yay for that! Announcements, you know, we're just giving announcements here. Uh, Ginger, Ginger's baby girl's birthday is today. She's five years old. Oh, happy birthday. That's awesome. Oh, Ashley LeClaire, I am happy to say I don't have any classes on Thursday, so I'll be able to tune in every week during the semester. That's so cool. That is so awesome. That's a great testimonial for BD Broadcast Live. Schedule your classes around it, kids. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I'm just refreshing the uh, live feed here. See how behind it is. Yeah, I'm looking at messages on, on YouTube, and I'm looking at uh, the tweet chat as well. Sweden, hello. <laughs> uh, Rebecca's got her tardy slip. Thank you. Yes, Melania and Jordana. So be on the lookout whenever you see possible overlap. By the way, they've got, Jordana's got pencils as well. And these are going to be just like the Milani um, liquid eye pencils. And I did have noticed some similarity, similarities a little bit with some of the new mascaras, but I haven't gotten to try those a lot yet. So I'll be doing that. Uh, Jordana products, they don't have them in your local Walgreens. Shucks. Um, you sure they don't have them around the little beauty counter area? That's where mine are. Um, also, a lot of Kmart stores carry Jordana. So check check Kmart. Uh, Jordana has a website as well, and I think you can you can find it. I know you can find it on CherryCulture.com if you're really um, intrigued. Sophia's having some serious cravings right now. She needs to get her protein snack before coffee. Yay! Boss just came in and I didn't get in trouble, says Sandra. <laughs> I would have said hi to the boss. All you got to do is tell me. I will shout out to anybody in the background of your, of your workplaces. <laughs> mm. Can't find Milani anywhere. Um, I find Milani in my Walgreens sells Milani. Um... I also find it at cherryculture.com, basically the entire line, and even older stuff. Good morning from Savannah, Tennessee. Hi, Sandy. Normally you think Savannah, Georgia, but isn't it funny how there's multiple, you know, all states are copycats. Um, I'm checking to see if my eyelashes are still actually attached. I don't know what happened with that. I think I put them on when they were almost too dry. Like I was sitting here doing one eyebrow, waiting for my lashes to dry, and I think they got too dry. Beware of that. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. New at Walgreens. Walgreens is making their own knockoff EOS lip balm. It says, uh, well at Walgreens on top. And I found this right in with the lip balm, the lip balm section, you know, near the cough drops and and more in the medicinal stuff, not the beauty stuff. But yeah, it's ex the exact same shape and size of the EOS lip balms. Like I can put it right back in here with my little bowl. Um, but this is watermelon, and it's really cute because the inside is pink, like a watermelon. It smells great. It has a great flavor. It feels moisturizing. Um, the EOS thing, I, I think I threw out the packaging on this, but the thing with EOS is a lot of those are like 95% organic. Um, there's certain, there's different ingredients, different special ingredients in each of the EOS ones. That's important to note. If you've tried one, you didn't like it. Like there's different, like the sweet mint has more vitamin E, and there's different ingredients that are more uh, in there more in each one. But I'm not sure if this is any kind of special lip balm or if this has a lot of extra moisturization qualities to it, but it's real cute. Um, it does feel good. It makes a nice little, you know, like when you're just starting to do your makeup and you want to soften your lips up a little bit, but uh, it was definitely cheaper than EOS. So there you go. <laughs> I Instagrammed a pic of that as well. Also, in new lip balm news, there's something from Blistex called Lip Vibrance. And it's SPF 15. It has a little mirror on the end. Yeah, you're gonna get a yeah, like ugh. if you're <laughs> if you're uh, far sighted, you're gonna be like what? Um, but it's a a pretty berry like tinted shade. It looks really pretty with my natural lip color, which is kind of mauveish, but it's not showing up well there. Why do I try to swatch on here? But it smells good. It smells like the what was that called? Silk and shine. It's, yeah, I think it smells like this one. Mm -hmm. 
you guys, this has been around for a while. I've used that for a long time. It smells kind of like that, but it's in a really pretty uh, tinted shade. As if there aren't enough tinted lip balms out there, but I just wanted to tell you. Prissy Jean, my computer like me is old and slow. Can't get into tweet chat. No! Uh, Sophia says Greek yogurt plus protein powder plus wheat bran is heaven. <laughs> said in Melf's voice because that's the only way to say it. <laughs> You should tell my husband that this is a really important broadcast. He wants me to go grocery shopping. Hmm. Well, husband. <laughs> I... Chrissy Jean. I can't promise that everything I say is important, but... It's... it's a, it, it will be goofy. Um... You're welcome for that info on Jordana and Milani. Yeah, I love those EOS lip balms. Um, yeah, we should do face of the day. How about that? Face of the day. I need a little face of the day chant or theme song. I've still got that song going through my head. Um, at, who, who sang it? Rhett something? Thomas Rhett. Um... All right, face of the day. I started out and I used this, and so uh, on the comments, I won't be seeing those for a few minutes here where I talk about this. Um, I used the Femme Couture Get Flawless 8 in 1 Foundation. I got this because Cast Makeup was talking about talking about it, and I think she had used it. Like, I, I watched it being used in her videos, and I liked the way it looked. It's a nice little pump foundation from Sally Beauty Supply is where you get this. Um, it says it has eight great benefits that create flawless-looking skin. It's a really good coverage foundation, and it, depending on the primer I use underneath, like, the claim is that this kind of goes cream to powder. Um, and it's definitely not like the powdery finish that the L'Oreal liquid nude thing does, but it depends on how moisturizing the primer is I use underneath. For example, if I use Mally's, which goes to a very silky smooth finish, this will go on a little bit better. If I use more of a tacky primer that that doesn't get so silky feeling, um, but is more moisturizing, I won't feel this go to that cream to powder place. You know what I mean? But good coverage, and I'm wearing that on my face today. I don't know why I got so close up. Like, oh, oh, okay, that's what it looks like. Um, I also, when I, at the same time I got that, and I think I've talked about this in the past, I got the under eye concealer in light, and it's from Femme Couture also. And it's got that moisturizing core. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little... Gosh, it's hardly showing up at all. Probably because I got product over it. Let me see if I can dust that off there. Um, it's concealer, and in the center is kind of a, a added moisturizer. And I like it because unlike Benefit's Fake Up, where it's reversed and the moisturizer is all around the outside and the color is on the inside. Here, if you just want to use the color part, you know, you can use an edge or something. I just, I like it because I don't feel like it's too greasy. So I use that um, almost like a fate, an under makeup kind of highlighting thing all in there. Oh, I under that I did use a little bit of my erase paste just in my innermost corners there. I set the under eye with some Bare Minerals Well Rested just to mattify and perfect that area. Some Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder. Really trying to use, get in the habit of using different products every day. You know, if, if I didn't reach for it yesterday, I'm going to try to use it today or, you know, just something different. So I used that. And then this, this was a bronzer that got caught way in the back of my drawer and I hadn't used it for a long time, but it's from Lancome. I've had it for, I don't know, a year or so. It's the Natural Matte Bronzer in Sun Bath. Nothing special about this, really. I mean, it's not much different from, like, the Essence Sun Club bronzer. Um, it's about that depth. It's about the depth of, like, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, so a little darker than NYC Sunny. But I use that as my contour. 
For my blush, I use the e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion, the studio blush. That's the really bright one. Everything has to be kind of shaded to really show up true to color on here. So I'm going to refresh that real quick just so I don't get too behind. Okay. Uh, Miss Kristen says, it's a great day because my mom is coming to visit. Yay! So then there's a new thing from Benefit that I was sent, and it's called the Rockateur, and it's a new powder. It's coming out officially. I have a little page on it here. It says, for girls who don't blush easy. I do love that little uh, slogan there with it. But it says, available September 2013. And this is what they're claiming is that this is like a rose gold. It's really pretty. I love looking at it in there. Um, it doesn't show up a whole lot. This will definitely be a blog or a video, you know, review because you'll need to see it in better quality. But it has a great scent. It smells definitely like one of those other box powders, maybe Coralista. You know how Coralista has a very strong scent. This has a scent as well. It's kind of a pearly finish. And I, when I've worn this alone, when I first got it, I thought, gosh, it's hardly showing up. Um, and so I used it today more as a highlight. So, yeah, I've got a little bit of that on. I don't know if I can apply some more, and maybe you can tell a little bit better. But it's just a little bit glowy. I can't quite, I'm not quite sure what I think about this yet. I don't know if it's so light it's not worth it or if it's giving me a really pretty sheen. It is giving a nice sheen without being glittery or sparkly. So just a heads up on that. Look for more in the coming weeks. Then on, so that wrapped up my, my face. On the eyes, I used my Scandalize in Nude on my lower waterline. And then somebody was asking me, I can't remember who uh, had either tweeted me or Facebooked me and said, can you use the world famous neutrals, uh, sexiest nudes ever? And I had reviewed this earlier this year on my blog. So if you, if you uh, go to beautybroadcast.net and you search world famous neutrals benefit, this will come up and you can see swatches. But it's a little eyeshadow kit like this. And it has your four colors and it has two creams here. The creams are in Bikini Teeny, which is a nude, kind of a, a shimmery nude. So I use that base um, in the on the first half of my lid or inner half. <laughs> and then I use the other one, which is a smoky shade called Holy Smokes. Holy Smokes! I use that on the outer part just to set the tone for this look. Uh, in my experience with the Benefit Cream Shadows, um, they make nice bases, but I don't always feel like I would want to wear them on their own. They don't get to that really like set for the day kind of state. Um, and then you've got four shadows here. It's a white. It's a dusty kind of satin finish purple. This is called Milk It. This is called Rain Check. It's everything in my power to not say milk it. <laughs> I always say milk like milk, not milk. <laughs> kind of like I don't say pink. I say pink. <laughs> P-E-N-K. <laughs> uh, anyway, down here, Pause for Applause is a, a kind of a matte satin finish pink and then Blingo is a really shimmery silver. So what did we do here? We took um, the matte white. Is that matte? No, it's, it's a little bit shimmery. Inner corner with that. The silver over pretty much the whole lid. Then I used the purple um, outer corner and crease and just kept it real soft. You know, I didn't do a, a real hard edge with this because this shade, honestly, is not dark enough to create much of a real edge. And then I blended that out with the pink right up in here and highlighted with the white, smudged the purple underneath. Um, I actually used a little bit of this uh, Milani Liquid Eye pencil in the purple shade just right here on the outer corner. 
used my iTech Extreme on the upper lash line, that's a liquid liner, used the uh, Telescopic Shocking Extensions, which is actually a decent mascara for me. Pretty good for length. Um, doesn't give a whole lot of thickness, but it is more of a lengthening mascara, so I like that. Um, and then I put on some random lashes that I got from uh, Love Eyelashes. The, it's called the Creme Eyelashes, the Creme Shop. And it is uh, 747M. I'm not I'm not nuts about them. I had to do a major trim job on those because they just were not the right shape, size and shape for me. Uh, they were way long left to right, which usually doesn't happen. But anywho, I'm just basketing some of this up again. And then on my lips, I'm wearing the Super Lustrous Lipstick in Gentlemen Prefer Pink. And so it's just a, sh a slightly shimmery, a little bit pearly pink. It's not super frosty, but really pretty shade of pink. And on top of that, I got another one of these glosses from Maybelline, which I love. This is the same line as the Almond Crush that I like. Really nice texture, Color Sensational Lip Gloss. And the shade is Glisten, Glisten Up Pink. And so that's what's given a little bit of shineage there. So... Yay! <laughs> That's the face of the day. The long, drawn-out face of the day. And I'm using my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills on the brow. Lustrous lipstick in Gentlemen Prefer Oop. Pink. Let's pause that. Yeah, so now I can see your comments and go back to the tweet chat here. Sorry, tweet chat. I was getting behind. Tarte Cosmetics is on Hope Look today. Thank you for letting us know, Daisy. Thank you for the announcement. I didn't even realize that. Appreciate it. Um, uh, oh, what kind of coffee? This is the, okay, Tully's, is it called Hawaiian Blend? Tully's uh, Hawaiian Blend, I think is what it's called. I got just a three-pack sample thing from Walmart, and I really like it. It's, it's pretty bold, um, good flavor. So, yes. When did you realize you wanted to stop doing news and solely do YouTube? I want to be a makeup artist, YouTuber. Um, I look up to you so much. Well, thank you, Missy Love. That's very nice of you to say. Um, well, I had been, uh, what a lot of people don't, don't realize, especially people who only knew that I did news, um, so not, not this crowd that I'm talking to here, but like people in my community, you know, who weren't familiar with the YouTube thing, like, I think they just thought when I stopped doing news, I just started doing something totally different, when really, I've been on YouTube since about a year into news. So, like, I did the news for roughly a year, and then decided to start my channel. Um, and it's just started purely as that hobby kind of thing, and um, I, need to, I need to be more aware of what the question is and not just ramble here. <laughs> Um, but when did I decide I wanted to stop the news is the question. Well, I, I had been thinking probably along those lines, let me think, I, my last day at the station was December 7th, 2012, and I think that summer, uh, the summer of 2012, so like about a year ago, um, I was thinking, you know, I need more time for this. If I... I, I love what I'm doing so much with the YouTube stuff, and I'm devoting so much of my life, like a big chunk of my life, to this, to this incredibly strange schedule to do news, which I like, but I don't like it as much as this, you know? So I was just kind of in a state where I, I'm capable of juggling quite a bit. Um, I don't mind having a lot going on, you know, and I'm, I'm, I can deal with that for a long time and, and keep all the balls in the air, I guess, but it was getting to a point where, like, okay, I'm staying up a little later and later, and I'm, I'm trying to fit in a little bit more and more, and it just, I, I was not getting enough sleep, I felt like, and you, do, you can just feel it, you can just feel it when it's like, um, my best way to describe this would be toward the end, I mean, it, it was almost feeling like, 
especially that fall um, around no, the November time frame, early November, I think, was when I told my, um, no, it was before that. I can't rem remember exactly how much notice I gave. I gave well beyond two weeks notice before I left. But around that time, I remember feeling like it's like an animal in a cage that just wants to get out and run throughout the whole yard, you know, but you're keeping them in this cage. Like, you can only have, I can only conceivably have a certain amount of time to do the YouTube stuff and blog and do what I wanted to do, and I just wanted to run free and just do that all the time, you know? So... That was kind of, I, I, I guess you, you get a feeling, the feeling I would explain to you was just that it was, um, I wanted so badly to be doing more, and I just couldn't, because just time just wouldn't allow it. I mean, if you were able to look back at tweets from years and years ago, you'd probably hear me tweeting a lot, I wish there were more hours in a day, you know, because it, the day would get over, I'd have to go to bed, and I'd be wanting to do more with with this. And and so now I feel like um, I'm just able to focus my energy more. I something I never realized was how much energy I was being robbed of when I was doing this this news schedule. And you're not gonna realize you're sleep deprived, really you get so used to it. You know, you, you get used to, to running on just a, like a little tank of gas, you know? And once I got off of that, I started to realize, oh my gosh, I have so much more energy. My brain is, is operating so much better for me, you know? Um, my memory, like I, I really felt like I, I was going through probably some sleep deprivation and trying to make myself do a lot more than I should have been doing. So that's the long story. I have, a, I have a knack for giving much longer answers than anybody probably wants to hear. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I love, uh, Jess, I like the caribou blend, too. I think that's a really good tasting K-cup. Somebody tweeted me and asked me if the Keurig is worth it, and I think it's totally worth it. Totally, totally. So, sorry, just getting comfy. Any tips on how to build your confidence when filming videos? Mm, that's a great question. That's a really good question because I think, um, I don't know, I look back at when I started doing videos and I feel like I was very, uh, I don't know, I was a little bit scared to do it, but I wasn't so scared for the, the greater in internet world to see me, but I was more scared of like uh, feeling weird just sitting in my house doing that and thinking, you know, what's Tyler thinking in there? Or what would my, you know, news coworkers think if they found out that I was doing this? And eventually, you know, they all knew and, and it didn't matter. But um, I think that was my initial thing. And I didn't, I was so early on with my channel that I didn't even, I was kind of naive, you know, I went into making my videos not even knowing like that there are haters out there, <laughs> what's a hater? No, I like, I mean it just was so new and there weren't these communities of people trying to break other people down and it just, that wasn't out there yet. I didn't know, you know, you could make money at it. I mean, people were getting into YouTube, I think, at that time in a very, you know, just a, you just wanted to do it. You just wanted to make these videos, and that's it. And so <laughs> I I really felt a little naive, and then I, I tried to take myself out of that and think, what if I just started my channel today, knowing what I know now? And I would be probably more scared just because I know people are, there's there's a lot of critics out there, um, but I think what you need to do if you're, to get back to your question, how do you build confidence when f shooting videos, um, I think you've, you've got to be comfortable with yourself, um, be really, really have a direction for yourself. Don't just sit down and think, I don't really know what I'm going to say. I'm just going to turn on the camera and start. Kind of think about it a little bit before you before you get into it. Just like I would feel 
really, really scared taking a test I hadn't studied for. Um, you're going to feel less confident if you sit down and I just grab some brand new thing like this moisturizer. Okay, I've been using this for two days. I don't really know, you know what I'm going to say about it, but I'm just going to start talking. No, it turns into BS and, and it's not informative. So no what you're talking about, have a direction. Um, I'm not saying script anything, but just have, you know, if I could sit down to do a, a series of reviews like on this basket of Avon stuff that I talked about the other day, you know, I knew what I thought about all this and I that made me feel comfortable when I sat down to shoot the video. You know what I mean? So if there's something you don't feel comfortable talking about or you don't feel like you know enough about it or you haven't used it long enough, don't feel pressured. Um, the thing I don't like to see on YouTube is when people bust out a review or a first impression on something just because you know it just came out and they want to be the first person to have a video out on it, but it's not an informed video. It's not a well-informed review. So um, that's what I'm. That's what I think will help you feel good. And the more videos you do, the easier it's going to seem. The more natural it's going to seem talking to a camera. And yeah. That's my tip. So, oh, Allison, you're already drinking the pumpkin spice. Gosh, I can't believe fall is almost here. Where else can we find a good deal on the Bite Color Plus Shine to Go kit? You're talking about this kit that I used in my um, blog post that was the real kind of orangey red lip. Um, this, I got mine on Sephora and now it's sold out on Sephora, but I looked it up. Do If you do a Google search or go under Google Shopping, um, I think this comes up as being available on Amazon. Betsy Gonzalez says, that's how I feel, terrified of what my friends or coworkers will think. And that was very interesting for me because, like I said, I started my channel when I was already doing the news and I remembered thinking like, and I just, I remember just getting my Twitter account and thinking, what am I going to tweet about? I don't really want my coworkers to know I'm doing these videos. Like, what are they going to think of what I'm doing? And eventually what gave me the confidence to talk about it was honestly getting more viewers and more subscribers. I felt, um, getting more views and subscribers, I guess I somehow felt worthy or I felt like, okay, I'm not just, just sitting in my room doing this for nothing like people are watching and um, when people started like people who watch me on YouTube would like friend me on Facebook and then maybe make a comment on my page and my coworkers would see that and then they just kind of realized and then by the time I you know my last few years like when I was my last four years at the station when I was on the morning show it was like everybody knew I did this and it was not weird and I think it's less and less unexpected that someone will have a YouTube channel. In fact, it might be even more surprising that someone doesn't have a YouTube channel these days, but um, uh oh, you guys had to refresh the screen. I'm sorry. I'm just going to keep talking in case um, I'm sorry if something froze up. Eek. But I don't, I don't think it's as unexpected, let's put it that way. I don't think it's as unexpected to have a YouTube channel now as maybe it once was when YouTube was just plain new, you know? So, it's asking me to play, please stand by. Uh-oh, I hope you guys are back. Okay. Uh-oh, some peoples are frozen. But I, I know it's not totally frozen yet because I do get a certain kind of message coming across here if it does freeze up. Oh, Linda wants to see some apple dumplings. Yes, that's a perfect fall video, isn't it? That is such a great fall dessert. Update on your Cardinals phone call. Oh, yeah. Was that last week that I told you guys? You know, or the week before that, maybe? I said, watch out. If I got a random voicemail the afternoon before, uh, someone from the Card St. Louis Cardinals front office, they said, um, and it was just a very vague message just telling me to call them back. And I called them back and I left a message for them. I have not heard back since. It must not have been a big deal. I have no clue how they would A, have my number, B, why they would want to talk to me. What do, you know, I am a Cardinals fan, but what do you need me for? I don't know. 
so Cardinals organization, if anybody's watching this, I, I really am curious as to why you called and left a voicemail. Um, but <laughs> when did you get Cupcake? Oh, I love how you treat her like your own daughter. Well, yeah, I am a, a mother of one cat. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I got her in October, oh, uh, goodness, 20, 10 to 11, 12, uh, October 2010. Is that right? Or 2011? I know I've got it. I know I've got it somewhere. No, I think it was 20, 2010. We have her for three years. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, we adopted her from a local shelter. Um, I, I knew I wanted to have a cat, and I just wanted to adopt. I, I had done a lot of stories and was very aware that the shelters were overcrowded, and people are not you know, adopting animals. More people seem to be going after, you know, the special breeds and whatever, which is fine, you know, whatever you want to do. But I, I, after just seeing these animals in the shelters, I knew I wanted to adopt one. And so we went and we looked at the kitty cats at one of the shelters. And it's, for anybody who's local, we went to Paws. And there were, there was like a pen with, four smallish cats in it. And Cupcake was, I, I don't know, she just seemed to be the smallest of them all. There wasn't really that big of a difference, but she was very gray looking at that time. Now she's got a little more brown in her coat, but had, had that same little white patch right here and a little white on her belly and so cute. And I just love, I, I love that cat so much. She's got a personality. She reminds me a lot of a dog in the way she acts, like the way she, you know, you're, you, if you've been away for a little while, you get home, she runs in. First off, like when, when you get home and if I've been out getting groceries, let's say, and I come back in the door, she runs over to her scratcher and she starts scratching like, oh, I'm so excited. And then she just runs to the center of the floor and plops. Like we always call it, oh, she just plopped. And then she, she does what I call carpet swimming, where she <laughs> stretches out and lets you to rub her belly. So, uh, Summer says, I guess not all of us get an answer. I'm so sorry, but these comments come in, like, especially here on YouTube, they freeze, and then they come in, like, 30 at a time. So, I really can't see everything. But I just try to look at it and, and get what I can. <laughs> Throw out the first pitch. I doubt that tremendously. I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe... I, I, I really don't know why the Cardinals organization would have been calling. And, like, I don't know. No idea. I mean, I've never contacted them. Like, I'm just really confused as to how, who I know in St. Louis. I mean, I did do those segments that one time on KMOV. Um, they have my phone number, but they call my cell phone, you know. And asked for me. I don't. I don't know. Maybe trying to sell sell some season tickets. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Is there a dupe for Mac lip gloss? Um, just the formula. Um, or or a specific kind. Let me know. <laughs> okay, got the feedback. Um, I'm looking over here at the tweet chat. Raina says, feed's working okay now. Beauty broadcast blog post from April for recommendations for Tardon. Oh, look, check it out. Thank you. Thank you, Serena, for sharing. Mother of three dogs. Serena's got a five-year-old German Shepherd, a four-year-old Chihuahua, and a two-year-old Chihuahua son. Cute. My mom wants a dog now after, um, I, I, I know you guys probably know this because I've talked about it before, but our sweet Mr. Nut passed away um, fairly recently. Uh, beautiful, gorgeous, white Turkish okay, Angora cat. 
that we have had since I was in fourth grade. And so, yeah, he he passed away, and now I think Mom may f finally feel ready to bring another pet into the house. So, um, how are you doing this? Can anyone go live on YouTube? I believe so. Um, actually, I go to the upload link, and then across the right sidebar, there are several different options, and I do the broadcast, or um, it's kind of happening through Google Hangout, but this is a broadcast on air, is what it's called. Nice. Um, are you going to VidCon in LA this weekend? I thought VidCon happened before, but I'm not sure. Uh oh, oh shoot. <laughs> I just clicked Google Maps. What? <laughs> Got myself off on the wrong page. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Going back. Several different. Um, let's see here. The, are the Maybelline lip glosses you use today in the look, are they sticky? Uh, no, I don't find them to be sticky. I let's just let's reapply and describe the texture here. No, not at all. A little bit of a scent going on there. Not super strong. Nothing as strong as say um, nothing as strong as like the NYX Mega Shines, which I like, but they have a stronger scent. Um, I would say these are even less tacky than the Revlon Super Lustrous, um, which I really like those lip glosses. But these still have pretty decent, you know, staying power, nice shine. Um, the Almond Crush is a very nice, just general shade if you're just going for one that would just give you shine. Um, the Almond Crush, but this one gives that pinkish shine. It's BeautyCon. Oh, BeautyCon's coming up. Yeah, I'm not going to that, um, but maybe I should have been. I, I guess I just wasn't really in the loop on what was happening with that, but maybe next year I'll go. I love the picture of your mom with the llama. <laughs> yeah, my mom and dad went to the state fair and saw all the animals. Do you watch college, college football? Yes, I love college football. Sonia says, hook them. This is your hook em horns, right? Texas? <laughs> Uh, Beth Graves is making breakfast for her dad. He's visiting for a couple days. Please shout out for him. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mr. Mr. Gr well, you're, you may not be Mr. Graves. <laughs> Hi, Beth, Dad. Sneaking in from work. Doing a project pan someday. That's where you say you're going to hit pan on a certain amount of things. I've hit, I wanted to do that. Thank you for reminding me. Just do a video on a lot of the things I've hit pan on recently. Because I've been very excited that I have done that. I love you. Aren't you supposed to chipmunk or something? <laughs> Everybody's supposed to chipmunk. This is, this is what we do. You To do that, you just put your paws up and then you go... And you can do that in your pictures when you have to do like a goofy pose or something. And then if you're at work, you do it in real subtle style, sneaky style. Because you look off and you see, is anybody looking at me over here? Anybody over here? Real quick. That's how everybody can participate. No excuses. <laughs> uh, hashtag no excuses. Uh, any fall tutorials soon. Um, you know, I was actually thinking the video, I, the tutorial I just put up, those particular shades I used from the Balm Jovi, that pretty um, burgundy called Alice Copper, that made a pretty fall look. Um, so that's an idea of one, but no, I, I should do more. I love orange. I've enjoyed orange all summer, and I think um, more with the, the burnt orange, reddish kind of tones, I think would transition really nicely into a fall look. Um, I'm enjoying mattes, matte shades. Um, can you recommend a good body bronzer? Yes! Um, I really like this. I've used this. Talk about a triumphant 
hitting pan moment. This thing is giant. Well, the pad just fell out of it, but this is from Laura Geller, and it's the Baked Body Frosting in Tahitian Glow, and this is a really nice, um, you can use it with a, like a kabuki brush, or there's a little, like, puff that comes with it, and, you know, you can put that on your arms, you can use it on your face if you want to, but it's really pretty, and it's got a lot of, like, glow to it. So that's one that, that I enjoy. Or you can always take like some kind of a, uh, the leg makeup, the Sally Hansen uh, airbrush legs, and now that's in lotion form, which I love. And if you want to, you can mix a little bit of that because it's very concentrated. Um, squirt a little bit of that out and mix it in with your body lotion and then put that on. And you can get it not necessarily to... If you want it to bronze you, get it, get the tan shade or like the medium shade. Um, but if you mix a little bit of that in, it also just perfects everything and it's almost like a body makeup. So oh, Rebecca says, Go Tigers, G-E-A-U-X. I love how the LSU cheerleaders on their signs, they always had that on there. Yay, Stella, welcome. Finally made a live broadcast. Uh Oh, somebody said Nude Toot or Balm Jovi. Um, I'm not sure what we're talking about there. Um, could you make one look with each of the Wet n Wild new color trios like the one you did last week on your blog? Yeah, I should. I should. I hope I can get it done before like those things are, are you know, I don't want them to be sold out and I'm still doing those. So maybe I'll pick at least a few others and and do some more. They're very colorful, aren't they? They I mean, that trio that I did in on my blog was just man, bright as can be. I love those shades, but it's like you've kind of got to pull in a black and uh, you know, some deeper shades along with it. YouTube my, your chipmunking froze my YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, oh, we're talking about favorite fragrance. Uh, what's your favorite fragrance? Um, let's see. You know, I, I found when I was reorganizing my um, bathroom area the other day, I found one, a small size of something that I loved, and it's the Victoria's Secret Bombshell. Has anybody else smelled that? That's so good. And I hadn't used up very much of the um, sample size, but I really like that. So, yeah, I've, I'm getting back into that, and I may just repurchase a full size, if that's even still being sold. I'm not sure. The Wet n' Wild pop art look you posted on Instagram. Did I post that look on Instagram? Because I have a, or do you mean on my blog? I mean, I'm probably just going to leave that one just at the, the face of the day. Uh, Serena's looking for the trios in Arizona, if anybody can help her. <laughs> oh, don't you always, we're always in search of limited edition stuff. <laughs> don't you hate it? <laughs> A uh, dupe for Mac Peach Stock lips. I I don't I haven't tried that shade. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what the dupe is. I'm sorry. See, here we go. It froze, and now 33 comments. Ah, sorry. I love how you pronounce fragrance. Uh oh, am I saying it wrong? <laughs> oh, I've got. That's another upcoming thing, Makeup Geek Reviews, but like I said, the Avon one's going to be next. Ooh, should we talk about spammers? Yeah, okay. Good call. Yes. Uh, gosh, I hate this. I This frustrates me so much that people spam the giveaways. And I know I'm not the only one this has happened to, but people are creating a username, a YouTube username, very similar to Emily Noel 83 like they'll switch around a letter, or, get this, they'll take Emily Noel 83 and make it look exactly like it, and this is how they do it. They replace 
the L in Emily with an uppercase I. And that's how they're doing that. Because some people are saying, oh, it's coming straight from you. No, they're doing they're changing it. So none of these messages are actually coming from me. Um, and here's my tips. Keep in mind that the giveaway is going to run until August 31st. So I won't send anybody anything about a, a giveaway until September 1st. Also, if you're in doubt about where that's coming from, when you when you open up your YouTube inbox and you see a suspicious message or you're thinking, that giveaway wasn't supposed to be over yet, is that really her? Click that person's name. It will take you to like a blank profile. Like these people don't have any videos on their pro on their YouTube channel page. And if you're familiar with my channel page, there's like 800. So there you're going to know whether that came from me by just clicking them and then you see, oh, darn it, and I'm sorry because it's like such a false alarm type thing. Like maybe if you don't enter a lot of giveaways and you're not familiar with the fact that there are spammers and, and stuff out there, then you're probably like thinking, oh, I actually won and I've had so many people email and tweet me and say, I'm so excited that I won. How do I let you know my information? And I'm just like, dang it, <laughs> spammers. <laughs> uh. So I'm sorry. I you know, and and they're also uh, when you report somebody, you can report people for like abusing you in the comments section, taking your videos, um, doing all these different things. But there's not a place to report somebody for the messages. Isn't that just? Ugh, I hate that. So. Uh, I'm sorry, just keep in mind the, that giveaway is not over yet. Disregard, check the channel if you're confused, but it will take you to, if you, if you click that name, it's not going to take you to my channel. And if it's not taking you to my channel, then that is not me. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just, mm, I don't know. They shouldn't be doing that, and they're trying to also put a link in there. That's the ultimate goal, I think, of these messages is to try to get you to go to whatever link is there, and I think that'll result in more spam for you. Um, I will not, if I, whoever I contact, I will not give you any sort of link to click or ask you to submit anything, but, you know, obviously I'm going to need the address of the winners, but you know what I mean, so... Um, tutorial using orange eyeshadow. I have one. Um, it's using the Kat Von D Ladybird palette. And just check that out on my channel. I did it fairly recently. And, um, yeah. It'll, it, it definitely works in a lot of orange and a really wearable way, I think, to use orange. So, um, Sophia's uh, fake message was the one that changed the L. Yeah. Boomer! <laughs> it's so annoying. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys, about that. Yeah, I want you to know because I know some people are seeing it and telling me, like, I know this is spam, I just want to let you know, but some people are legitimately seeing it and think they've won. They've won. And so I feel very, like, Sorry, but you didn't win. Cause, it, but really, um, in the defense, if you watched the video all the way through, I know some people. I know some people probably just clicked on the video for the giveaway and entered themselves, and maybe didn't even watch the whole thing. But if you watched, you do know when the giveaway is wrapping up and the day I said I would contact people. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah, Jamie, I, I do go in there for impersonation, but you cannot, it doesn't give you that option, like, because these people have no videos up, they have no comments posted, they have no basis for you to report them for impersonation. The only way they're doing it is through the messages, and, and YouTube has, does not have a section for that, which is bogus in my opinion, but that's the issue. So enough, enough devoting this <laughs> broadcast to that, right? Uh, this shirt came from Forever Twenty One in New York. 
Um, a question on your on your giveaway. Notice that people's comments are being reported as spam, and when I check, they aren't. Oh, all comments. I know some people will go in there, and and stuff can get marked as spam by other YouTube viewers. I'm not going in there and like randomly marking someone as spam. Um, so those names will still be be in there. Like they will still be eligible to win. Um, if a comment gets randomly selected and it's just someone saying, "Hey, check out my giveaway on my channel," that doesn't count. Like those people, that that will not win because they weren't responding to the question I asked you to respond to. So, yeah. Hi, Mia. Welcome. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry again to anybody who's been subjected to the spam because you know what? I got the messages too. They told me I won. And I didn't win. <laughs> I did not see Mally on QVC last night. I've started watching a show called Orange, uh, Orange is the New Black. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch it if you're easily offended. <laughs> um, but yeah, we started watching that last night. Uh, it's, a woman is in prison, and it's just wow. It Cosmetics is it Ulta? Really? Oh, cool. That's awesome. Oh, hi, y Yasoda or Yasada is here from India. Hello. What else did I, I had something else out here to, do I say this every time? Oh, I had something else to tell you about. Um, this thingy. It's from Nuance, Salma Hayek, CBS. I talked about this on the Gloss Daily Post, but it looks like, Look, it's got this little applicator in here, and it looks like some sort of, you know, like alien spacecraft, like, like flying around. <laughs> it's so strange. These shadows, they're giving you quite a bit of each shadow. The shadows are nice quality. I swatched them on that post I did, but why? <laughs> It's so big, you know, it's just, I don't know, just, I'm, I don't get it. Trying, they're trying just to make the person like me say, that's different, I need that. <laughs> Whoa, uh-oh, lost it, see, it's also more likely to roll off your desk. <laughs> it looks like a spaceship, yes, someone said it looked like a fig, too. Samantha says, I'm a New York girl. When are you coming back? I want to come back. The last trip, that little trip I had for the Avon thing was too quick. But it was fun. Looks like a plastic beauty blender. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Um... When you open it all the way up, it looks like a ring holder. <laughs> the lipstick from Tarte I wanted wasn't on Hilt Look. Oh, I'm excited to see what they do have on there. They had uh, Eve Pearl on there recently. Oop, hair in my mouth. Uh, the Fast Diet. Yes. Um... I've been doing that for a few months now, and it's been going well. I think, I, I feel like I talk about this every time, or I get asked about this every week. Um, but I think, okay, you're doing a couple days, you're doing 500 calorie days two times a week. Today is one of those days for me. Um, but it's going to make the biggest impact on people who are eating far more than that every day of the week. You know what I mean? Um, 
there's going to be more of a, it, it depends on how much contrast that is with what you actually eat. If you're not eating a lot of calories anyway, the change isn't going to be as significant for you. Um, so like my dad did this and like he noticed more of a difference than my mom and I think Tyler notices more of a difference than maybe I notice but I do notice some um, you know I, I feel like I've definitely lost some weight and my clothes fitting differently and stuff like that um, but I've also been trying to work out more and so I I think I have built up some muscle still in that way um, but it's been great and it's just been good to me maintain because you can eat what you want on the other days but this kind of keeps you in check I guess and it's sort of good for me I think I mean I'm working in my house I have access to the refrigerator and food in my cabinets at any time <laughs> so it is nice to kind of put a little control on myself especially on those days and then I you know I, I guess I feel better on days when I am eating more and so that's my situation there. Yeah, and I'm not trying to lose significant amounts of weight or anything like that with this. It's really, for me, it's just, like I said, turning out to be just something to maintain, I think. I'm losing a little weight, but that's just, that's just what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I feel, I think I feel more energized, I I think I feel healthier for it, but I'm not a diet expert, so I don't like to, like, I would really encourage you to check out the website and Google it and, and go to the actual website for the information, because I don't think I am qualified to recommend someone go on a certain diet or to do something like that. It's not for everyone. But for people who will tweet me and say, I'm worried about you, you can't survive with on a 500 calorie day, it, yeah, you definitely can. Uh, not starving, so. <laughs> Which is a better buy for an amateur like me, Lorac Pro or Urban Decay Naked Palettes? Well, they're all good, but, mm. I don't know. I, I don't know what your I don't know how important matte shadows are to you. If you like having the matte, non-shimmery eyeshadows, Lorac Pro. Um, if you just want a good collection of neutral shades, you don't care if they're matte or shimmery. Um, I really like the Naked One palette. I think it gives you a lot of variety, um, but I think Lorac Pro gives you the most, if you know what I mean. I haven't tried the Marc Jacobs makeup, um, but thank you, Jenny, for bringing that up. I did uh, see it, an ad for that in InStyle, I think. Thank you. No, well done, beauty. Thank you so much. No, I feel good. I feel good about myself. I'm not like <laughs> trying to do anything major here or be some skinny girl. Like I know I'm not that. I just I, I'm being healthy and I'm keeping myself away from a lot of like potential nonstop snacking. I'm a snacker. I'm one who likes to snack and graze, and doing this a couple times a week really keeps me in check with that. So thank you, thank you so much for being nice. But no, I'm I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Um, yeah, Linda says, I like Lorac Pro, especially with the matte shadows. There's really just not any other palette I have that get, that has that nice split to it. Normally, you know, it's a bunch of shimmery shades and maybe two, three matte colors at the most, and that one really gives you a lot. And I think even if you're a beginner, I think that's a good selection to have. Um, Balm Jovi also is something I put in the starter kit because that gave you some straight-up matte colors and some colors that I thought were fun. Um, you know, not anything, not so bold, somebody would feel like they couldn't wear them, but very fall appropriate shades, I think, in there as well, like a gorgeous deep green, um, burgundy, navy, some really fun stuff, so. Congrats, Betsy, she's doing Weight Watchers and lost 35 pounds. 
Um, well then, Beauty went to Sephora, watched the Marc Jacobs makeup. All of it is amaze. It's amazing. Wow. Do you hire yourself out for weddings? Um, really, the the weddings I've done, I have been kind of friend and family kind of things. Um, I haven't really set myself up or put myself out there as uh, just a makeup artist for various occasions. Um, I don't know if I may do that more in the future or not. I haven't really, you know, decided because I think once you do put yourself out uh, to do that, I think, I don't know, I feel like I'd be doing weddings all the time and every weekend I would be doing something like that maybe, but I don't know. I, I, I kind of like being able to help friends and stuff. Um, uh, Miss Chris, Miss Cristani says, do you guys know that sometimes buying makeup off of Amazon, off of Amazon is cheaper than Ulta or Sephora? Um, what kind of workout do you do? I bounce on my mini tramp, and that is amazing. That is a great, fun, really good workout. Um, and then just, you know, push-ups, crunches. I do it all in my house, you know, here. I have one of those exercise balls as well that you can do the crunches on. So kind of a mix of those things, but I really like having that mini tramp because I feel like, and you can bounce in different ways <laughs> to where I think it works your legs out a little bit differently like you can do almost like jumping jack style and then you go like you go like forward and backward you can twist at the waist like if you look up mini tramp workouts there's a ton of stuff you can do um, some people go like bouncing off and then onto it and back off um, there's a lot that you can do, but that really has been good cardio-wise for me because, um, as I said in my 25 Things You Don't Know About Me video, I with my the way my hip has been for most of my life um, with hip dysplasia, you can't do a lot of, like, I can't just go run a few miles, you know, it's, I'm not supposed to do that, it's not, that amount of impact is not good, but the mini tramp kind of gives me a really good cardio workout without all the impact. Um, I wish I had a good place to just go swim, because I love swimming, and swimming laps I think is a great workout, but Oh, Mariah, I need to. I have never been to California. I I would love to go though. I've never ever. I can't believe I haven't been out there yet. Uh, I got my mini trampoline from Dick's Sporting Goods. Mhm. Mm uh, how much the the mini tramp I got was. Ooh, uh, between 50 and 60 bucks. And I've honestly been craving my... <laughs> I've been craving the days of when we had a, a big trampoline at home at my parents. And that was how I really honed a lot of my tumbling skills, to be honest. Um, but I really wanted that again. But this was a great way to just do it in the house and get a good workout. So what's for dinner tonight? I am doing salmon. We're going to do some salmon. And I believe I, I'm either going to do vegetables or salad on the side of that. I, I like doing kind of a southwest salad thing with corn and like a chipotle kind of dressing on it. Really good. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it, sweet Nina Bean. <laughs> Will you try out Michelle Fawn's makeup line? I would like to. Um, I've only glanced over what she's offering, and, I mean, they're pretty. It, it's some pricey palettes, but what you're going to do? I mean, only uh, something I've learned is that as an outsider looking in, you can judge the cost of something a lot, but being on the production end and the creation, right, just see how it stacks up to, to everything else. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very interested. 
Um, and I think it's it's on sale now. I think it's available. So, favorite eyeshadow brushes from Mac or any other brand? Well, I've never tried Mac. I mean, I do have like one mini eyeliner brush, but um, as far as as brushes that I like, I mean, I I use. Let me just tell you what I use pretty much every day and what you probably see used a lot in tutorials. Let me just grab them out here. This one, this one. been using that. And, gosh, this one. <laughs> okay, when I'm, when I'm packing shadows on the lid, thank you for bringing this up. This is a good topic. Um, putting shadows all over the lid. And I'm sorry, these don't have the updated numbers, and I don't have all the numbers memorized for Sigma. But this is from the the Essential Kit. It's just a flat shadow brush. I'll use that one. Or um, this one from Sonia Kashuk is the small shadow brush. If I if it's more targeted, if it just is in a small area, I'll use one of these two usually for packing shadow on. Um, for shadow in the crease, I often use this brush. You see me use this a lot. It's from Sigma. It's a little bit pinched up here at the top and that is just great for... I, I, I'm always doing this with it. I'm like dabbing it right in this outer corner like I did today and then flipping it vertically and then take advantage of more of that fluffiness to blend it out. Um, this is a brush I most likely use bare from Sigma. Um, this one, by the way, was from the premium kit. This is from the essential kit. And that'll be just my blend it all out type shade. And then my smudge brush. This is the E21. I, this is the best smudge brush. I did a blog all about good smudge brushes. But this one cleans up and washes up and does not fray out. And it's just great for targeted application there under the eye. Um, it's going to be a little more smudgy, you know, than an angled liner brush. So I really like that. Um, what else? I got this brush from Coastal Sense that I've had for a long time. And it, it's just like a little bit more fluffy than a pencil brush. And sometimes when I want a certain shade just right in here, I'll kind of dab that there. And then Coastal Sense, or Coastal Sense, Sigma also from their Precision line has this E36. Get a load of this. This is a smaller blending brush, and I've been using this a lot more lately. Compare that to, say, this brush. See how much smaller it is? But I like using that, for example, today with the pink shade transition type colors. I went into this pink with this smallish brush, and then using that right up in this area gives you a very controlled application like when you don't want the shadow going everywhere just in that one spot I, I've, I've liked that for that quite a bit so that was a brush I think at first I thought what am I going to use this for and you just don't you find you just kind of develop uses for things over time you don't always just sit down with a brush set and think I know what I'm going to do with each and every one of these. Sometimes it evolves and your needs bring about, you know, uses for different brushes. Do you have an Aldi there? I do all my grocery shopping there. Yeah, we have an Aldi. Um, I either, and I'll, I'll go to Aldi sometimes or a lot of times I'll go to Walmart because I need some things that are like non-food <laughs> and so that's just one-stop shopping but I like Aldi too. Great prices. The best prices probably. Don't feel ashamed that you're eating chips. I say if you're gonna eat chips, enjoy the chips. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. So, oh, you can, you can have your tardy pass. Uh, somebody said it's overpriced. I'm not sure what was overpriced. Um, I don't know. See, I'm not going to, personally, I'm not going to say if something's overpriced until I try it. So, um, it was just like, yeah, I don't know if I want to go there or not. Yeah, I'll go there. Um, I'd never heard so many people be so opinionated on something they've never tried when it came to that Sigma glove. So, um, 
anyways, <laughs> I still use that every time I clean my brushes. Um, could you do a tutorial on how you choose uh, and transition colors on your eyes? I'm thinking about how I would do that. Um, yeah, because I think you just, in, in any palette, you want to know, okay, what are the light shades, what are the medium shades, and what are the dark shades? And something I've, over time, started doing a lot more of is, is not just using a crease shade, but using, you know, a secondary medium shade right in here because I just think it, it takes the edge of whatever your darkest color is and it just gives it more of a natural fade out into nothingness or into your highlight color. So I think that's a great use for medium toned shades. How goes post work life? Loving it! <laughs> I, I really don't see what I'm doing. It's funny you say post-work because I really don't see what I'm doing now as like work because I love it so darn much. So, Have you tried the chicken and waffles chips from Lay's? Are they selling those now? I want to try those real bad. Um, okay. Is it awkward when your supervisor says she started her job in the same year that you were born? <laughs> nice. Gosh, it's already. When did it get to be 1031? Please do a mini look heads up on your blog for Tarte. There are a lot of items on there that aren't in your previous one. And I don't have anything from Tarte, so I don't even know where to start. I don't have a lot from Tarte, don't know where to start. Um, I'll have to look at what's being offered, because if I haven't tried a lot of it, I'm not sure if I have. Um, it'll depend on how much I know about what's for sale, I guess, if that makes sense. So, yes. Um, what cleaner do you use to clean your brushes? Allison, I like to use the... Um, uh, baby shampoo is what I've, I've been using lately on most everything, but for the the really dense, the synthetic foundation type brushes like the F80, this one, which is dirty right now, I just used it today, <laughs> um, I, for this I really like the Philosophy Purity. I'm not saying you can't get it clean with baby shampoo also, but Kristen Game told me that Purity really gets these clean, and it totally does, and very quickly too. So that's an option if, if for really resistant brushes, but for pretty much everything else, um, the baby shampoo is working just fine. And I find that um, you know it, when I use the the brush glove, you know the surface of that really agitates the product out of the bristles. It cleans cleans it very quickly. So. Um, Mary Kay, yeah, I used to have certain things from Mary Kay, like uh, certain lipsticks that I really enjoyed, um, and then now I really haven't gotten any new Mary Kay, and I know the look of the brand has changed so much, and I'm sure the formulations of the products have changed quite a bit as well, so I, I can't talk too much about that. I'll have to get an order in somewhere um, so I can try some newer stuff, because I just... I am so behind where that line is concerned. Macaroni and cheese flavored chips. Oh, I see, I have the feeling I might like the chicken and waffles chips because if that combined, I love anything that combines sweet and salty. And so if there's kind of a syrup flavor on those, oh, I bet that's going to be amazing. Oh, that's a good idea. Chipper says, like, makeup mishaps video. What to do, like, when you have an eye done and you get mascara on your lid and things like that. That's a good idea. Little, like, fix-it type things. Little, like, while you're applying little emergencies and things that happen. I bet we could come up with a good list of those kinds of things. Because sometimes, actually letting your mascara smudge dry, you can just flake the darn thing off.
Yes, oh, I need to get cupcake. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Laura. Laura reminded me we didn't, we haven't seen cupcake yet, so. She's here. How are you, Baker? Are you whipping my face? She's so pretty. She's got such pretty eyes. And she does her eyeliner so well every day. She always lines her waterline, top and bottom. She always wings it out all the way across the side of her face. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Love you too. <laughs> okay, gotta refresh this. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, after this, I need to. I'm gonna be editing the next video that'll come, which will be that, like I said, a bunch of Avon reviews in one. Also, can you do more wedding tutorials and videos? Um, have you seen? I don't know if you've seen, but I do have a whole playlist of, of bridal, and my most recent one was the the one that really is good for photo makeup and bridal makeup. You might want to check that out. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I've got some editing to do this afternoon. You know that when I did these, these videos where I did the tutorials and you kind of heard my voice over them, um, some people ask me, is that the way you're going to do to all tutorials now? Like, with you not sitting there talking, but we're just hearing a voice, voiceover. And that's not my plan. That's not my intention. I wanted to do it that way for this series because I'm doing a full face of makeup and I need to get through it a little quicker. And I don't want the videos to be quite as long. I wanted these to be more quick, not only quick to reproduce, but quick to watch, I guess. Um, and I'm going to be honest, people people like shorter videos as a whole. I'm not saying I'm going to tailor myself to be always doing short videos, but especially, I think, where the tutorials go. A really long tutorial, people, and, and I'm able to see, actually, statistics on how how long people watch, <laughs> how many minutes worth of a video people will watch, and so it's never, you know, the uh, when it gets down to percentages, like most people are going to watch a round of, of a video that's, say, 10 or 15 minutes long, majority of people are watching 6 to 8 minutes, so... Something to keep in mind. <laughs> but I, for most tutorials, no, I prefer to kind of talk as I do it because I kind of think about certain things in that moment as I'm applying stuff. So that's, that's what I'll mostly do. But those videos, even though they were kind of short, it took me about three hours to edit each one of those because they're just, it's like you're editing a whole video. I put my whole voice track together and then I drop on top of it all these different cuts of the application. It takes so long. So <laughs> yeah, it's not my preferred way to do it all the time to anyone concerned. Adriana, yes, Avon review coming soon. Actually, I just shot it yesterday. So yup. Have you ever tried Dr. Denim jeans? I've never heard of those. Oh, I love the little black and white kitty cats. Those are so cute. Yeah, Cupcake's getting big. She's a long cat. And she's got a very long tail and very long limbs. So, what's everybody got going on this week? What's your big, exciting events, concerns, things you're excited about, things you're worried about? Let's talk. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. I'm glad you like the photo-friendly look. Um, that, yeah, totally. A, a, especially, you know, that base makeup. 
very, very bridal friendly. Thank you. Thank you, Serena, and thank you so much to anybody who just watches the whole thing. Because <laughs> obviously I make it with the intention of, you know, thinking you're going to watch it the whole way through to get the whole point basically and to get all the info so thank you for those who watch every minute that is I so appreciate it it takes a lot of time to put together I really appreciate you putting your time to watch it so Margaret's late but she is here uh, okay Miss Cristani is camping this weekend that sounds fun if you're into camping. <laughs> I haven't camped a lot. But camping can be pretty, you know, it doesn't have to be just laying out on the ground, you know. A lot of people have pretty, you know, ball and campers these days. Um, Mariana is packing for her Brazil trip. Uh, some of my favorite YouTubers, I mentioned a lot, not all, but a lot of them in my YouTube Made Me Try It video. So that will give you a good sense of who I watch and who I like. Um, but it's not everyone, still. <laughs> um, first week back to school for Amy. My kids are in a new one. My 14-year-old needs makeup. Do you know a teenage beauty guru? Um I'm sure there are lots, um, but I I do I think there are some certain tutorials that I've done that would be useful for a for a teen, such as my uh, classy for class look. But actually, that may, your your 14 year old that's pretty young, so I would go like barely there, barely anything, lip gloss, powder, mascara. Um, starting my junior year of college on Monday, excited and nervous that I'm halfway through already. Block party this weekend. Sophia, I'm using iMovie. Yep. Chanel Miss, I go back to school in less than two weeks. It's my last year of high school. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. Wendy is attending a surprise over-the-hill birthday party for one of my mother's best friends. Um, have you used the Laraka Unzipped palette? Jennifer, yes, and I love it. Do you need a tutorial? <laughs> because I'm most likely going to do one. <laughs> Your new work makeup is my favorite of the series you did. Thank you. Some people are putting in some names of some other teenage beauty YouTubers if you want to find them. They're on the, not on the tweet chat, but on the, um, on the YouTube chat. Uh, Kara's going to see a surgeon to see about having her gallbladder out. Stella, it's Stella's birthday and her family has planned some surprises. Happy birthday! Raina's going to her first MLB game on Saturday. Can't wait to see the Reds play. That's awesome. Uh, Yasoda just got her master's in business administration. Good for you. Dang. Back to college Monday for Ashley. Stella got promoted at work, so she has a whole new job to learn next week. Well, that's exciting. Wow. That's awesome. Everybody, everybody's got so many good things going on. But I'm thinking about you, Kara, and your gallbladder. I hope that visit goes well. I hope your doctor is able to help you out where that's concerned. I know that's a pretty um, pretty common thing people have with getting their gallbladders removed. OMG, Linda is cleaning out an extra bedroom and making it into a makeup and study room. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, Linda. You'll have to share um, share a picture with us or something when that makeup room gets done. Everybody likes to see makeup rooms, do they not? Like everybody likes to see everyone else's storage. My mom said she just reorganized her uh, makeup area. Sophia's still on a job search, but on a happier note, my boyfriend's birthday is next week. Good for you. 
going to uh, Rebecca's going to Kylie's school to meet her teacher tonight. Starting college on Monday, culinary management major. That's awesome. Yay. Last year of my microbiology degree. Isn't this crazy how many different kinds of people and just backgrounds that we have on here? I love it. And I really liked reading, and I think I might have already told you this, but I loved reading the entry comments to the giveaway, which I'm choosing at random. I'm not just choosing my favorites or something, but um, I loved how many people were talking about like their school memories or their school, like what they're excited about. And there are some amazingly super, you know, educated or interesting backgrounds going on here with, with YouTube and, and interesting like specializations across the board. So I love it. Uh, Mariah's got her psychology final coming up. Alexander's running a 5K on Saturday. Oh, uh, Taser Funds Hubby is going to Germany next month for business and she's super nervous about it. Oh, he's not a traveler, she says. Well, I really, I remember being very nervous about overseas travel as well. <laughs> the first time I went, which happened to be going to Germany, and I just thought about my, my brother because he travels all over the world. He's a, an engineer and he goes all over the place and he's by himself uh, a lot of the time and I just kind of thought you know if he can go all these different places and and make it work and all these different you know he goes to China, Japan, Germany, uh, Czech Republic, everywhere and so if he can do all that you know it's possible and so I reminded myself of that and it just kind of mentally I was like if he can do it I can do it and I don't travel near as much as he does so um, Oh, thank you, Amy. Sam is starting her senior year of college Monday, digital media, programming, and management. Um, networking, and she wants a video on networking and connections in this field. Like they say, not what you know, it's who you know. That's kind of true sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, thank you, Isis. Yay! Thank you for joining. Thank you. Awesome. Gosh, well, I just want to thank you guys so much for taking time to join in the live chat. Well, I never know what it's going to be like or what we're going to talk about. Well, I know it's always going to be fun, <laughs> but I love the different questions you ask and things that we bring up and talk about here because it's not just beauty, you know, it's other kinds of things as well. And I'm so just so thankful for you for for watching the videos for being so supportive of of the series that I've done recently I've gotten so much nice feedback on that so thank you for that thank you for entering the giveaway thank you for overlooking the spammers and <laughs> not getting too annoyed by that I'm sorry I wish there was something I could do but um, uh, oh Sandra says update on stomach stuff turns out I have acid reflux disease not fun taking meds to help uh, I've um, I, I know Tyler has dealt with acid reflux at times I know that is not a that's an uncomfortable thing and not fun to have to treat that so thinking about you well thank you Thank you so much, everybody. Um, I really feel like we're just kind of a whole whole little family here that gets on Beauty Broadcast Live every week. So we'll do this again next week. I'll let you know um, when we go about uh, you know another time. Like I, I want to periodically throw in you know other other time periods, like an evening one. So I'll let you know if that happens. But as of now, we'll plan for next week, same time, same place. <laughs> awesome. Oh, thank you. Hi, Ms. Nini. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. Multitasking right now. Planning my destination wedding in Hawaii from Iowa. That's awesome, Hannah. <laughs> Get yourself out of the Midwest for a little while. Yay. 
Yay. Well, thank you guys so much. I hope you're enjoying the tweet chat, and I hope that continues to work for you. We'll do that every week as well, just for another outlet for comments. So have a great day. Have a safe weekend. Everybody who's traveling, I'm sending you a big hug right now. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye.